South Korea has one of the most modern militaries in Asia. Today, after almost seven decades of relative peace under the blanket of US security, Seoul plans to become independent and proactively respond to North Korean attacks and rising China threats. The Defense Ministry is set to spend a further $275 billion in 2021 through 2025 to open a new era of self-defense. And the first completed milestone for the Korean aviation industry is the recently presented $8 billion supersonic fighter. The prototype of the twin-engine jet named the KF-21 Boramae was showcased during a rollout ceremony at the headquarters of Korean Aerospace Industries, or KAI, in Sechian, about 440 kilometers south of Seoul. The country first announced the fighter in 2015, and subsequent developments took only six years. With its first flight, slated for 2022, the Hawk will make Seoul an upper-tier player in the international tactical aviation market. South Korea has big plans for the KF-21, as it could become a hit with smaller air forces or countries seeking an advanced and more affordable fighter fleet. Many of the headlines accompanied the unveiling of South Korea's 4.5 generation fighter that would be a cheaper alternative to the Lockheed Martin F-35. While it may not have the full stealth and network capabilities of the F-35, it represents a capable and expensive investment in South Korean independence. The ramp-up of the program symbolically elevates South Korea to a historic club of eight countries' developers of supersonic fighters. There are obvious American fingerprints in the KF-21's design and components, but about 65% of the fighter is actually of South Korean origin. The new fighter jet is 55 feet long with a wingspan of 36 feet, making it just a shade longer and narrower than the F-35A Joint Strike Fighter and noticeably smaller than the F-A-18EF Super Hornet and F-22 Raptor. The Boramae looks a lot like the F-22 Raptor, with canted vertical stabilizers, diamond-shaped wings, angular air intakes, and twin jet engines. Though it also bears some obvious resemblance to the F-35, the KF-21 is a twin rather than a single-engine airplane. The prototypes are powered by a pair of General Electric F-414 engines to excess the aerodynamic performance of the F-16C. The same engines in the F-A-18EF Super Hornet can generate a maximum of 44,000 pounds of thrust and reach a top speed of 1,400 miles per hour, or just Mach 2. The supply of 240 F-414's engines for the whole fleet of 120 aircraft will help Kai to skip engine development and ensure a solid supply chain by 2032. The KF-21 figures for a payload up to 17,000 pounds and a range of approximately 1,800 miles, which puts the KF-21 ahead of the F-35A in terms of performance attributes. South Korea refers to the Boramae as a 4.5 generation fighter because the fighter isn't meant to be as stealthy as 5th gens like the F-22 or the F-35, though it almost certainly has a radar signature on par with the Eurofighter Typhoon which is smaller than the 4th gens like the F-15 and F-16. The Boramae is somewhere in between. All aspects stealth is blunted by choice to carry the KF-21's weapons externally on 6 underwing and 4 under fuselage hardpoints. The sacrifice in detectability is offset by the lower cost and likely shorter development made possible by foregoing an internal weapons bay. All weapons for the strike variant are currently in the Korean Air Force inventory including Paveway-2 laser-guided bombs, the world's smallest GBU-39 bombs, and GBU-31 joint direct attack munition bombs. The KF-21's technologies include an advanced electronically scanned array radar system for detecting and tracking aerial threats, an infrared search, and track system for quietly detecting aircraft at shorter ranges, and an electro-optical target pod that can detect targets on the ground. A locally produced Hanwha Systems Active electronically scanned array radar can be teamed with long-range weapons like MBDA's Meteor air-to-air -air missile or Saab-MBDA Taurus cruise missile, extending air defense reach beyond that of the F-16s. The fighter jet is set to replace the aging fleet of the Vietnam War-era F-4E Phantoms and F-5E Tigers. KAI said the plane will undergo ground testing this year before its first flight scheduled for July 2022. Mass production of the KF-21 Block 1 will begin when six prototypes complete 2,200 sorties 
over the next four years. Then the president said 40 KF-21s will be delivered to the Korean Air Force by 2028, and 80 more jets will enter service by 2032. Also, the KF-21 could likewise give Southeast Asian customers like Thailand, the Philippines, and possibly even Iraq an alternative to fourth-generation European and Russian aircraft, with the added benefit of design and operational features. As a partner with a 20% share, Indonesia plans to acquire 50 KF-21s with a mix of air defense and strike variants because of concerns about China's burgeoning influence and territorial claims in the South China Sea. The multi-role frigates could blend well with KF-21s, sending a message to China. As the threat of Chinese weapon systems and airframe manufacturing capacity over Korean equivalents becomes increasingly obvious. A decade ago, China surprised the world with the Chengdu J-20, becoming the second nation globally with domestically produced fifth-generation fighter jets in operational capability. China's Chengdu J-20 Mighty Dragon, though likely less agile and all-around stealthy than the US F-22, is generally considered the first credible operational fifth-generation stealth fighter designed outside of the United States. The eventual widespread integration of the AESA radars into modern Chinese designs means operating sensor capabilities in the same ballpark as cutting-edge Western fighters. The Chengdu J-20 twin afterburning turbofan engines and supersonic inlet enables an aircraft to reach Mach 2.0 with a simpler intake. The J-20 can carry up to six air-to-air -air missiles and longer-range missiles, including the LS-6 precision-guided bomb and newly developed PL-15 missile with pulse motor, also allows a lethal second burst of speed as it's close with its target. But J-20s are large and expensive, and just as in the United States several years before, China became interested in smaller, cheaper alternatives. The Shenyang Aircraft Corporation has also independently developed another stealth fighter called the FC-31 or J-31 Gear Falcon, resembling the US F-35. The prototype of the FC-31 first flew in 2012, but disappeared from the public eye shortly after. The aircraft returned in 2020, much improved, and with the rumors that the mass production is about to start. China's Shenyang Aircraft Company aims to make breakthroughs in its fourth-generation fighter jet program by boosting related technologies, including additive manufacturing, control over surface electromagnetic defects, and automated fiber placement so that the aircraft can be successfully developed. Still under development, this jet possesses a greater operational range and larger payload capacity than the F-35 it was based on. There is an expectation that the FC-31 will become China's primary carrier-based fighter once it reaches full production, replacing the J-15. China has shown promotional material indicating the FC-31 has an internal fuel combat radius of 800 miles and a maximum takeoff weight of 28 tons. The aircraft is powered by two RD-93 afterburning turbofan engines, developed by the Russian company JSC Klimov, so the aircraft can fly at a speed of approximately 1,400 miles per hour and will offer a maximum range of over 1,300 miles when fitted with external fuel tanks. While the conditions of these numbers are not known, a slight increase of these parameters might benefit the overall flexibility of the aircraft, especially for carrier-based operations, where the greater range is always desirable. Like the J-20 program, the FC-31 is limited by China's inexperience with stealth aircraft. Aesthetically, the Chinese fighter seems to borrow heavily from both the F-35 and F-22 programs, suggesting that it may be lighter and more maneuverable than America's top-tier fighter but it lacks some degree of the F-35's stealth characteristics and the American jet's real claim to fame, a sensor suite that offers the pilot greater awareness of the battle space. The FC-31 fighter jet is intended to provide advanced defense capabilities in close air support, aerial bombing, and air interdiction operations. It can also suppress enemy air defenses and be used as a carrier-based fighter on aircraft carriers. The aircraft can be equipped with state-of-the-art avionics, including multifunctional displays, helmet-mounted sight, an electro-optical targeting system, an altitude director indicator, and advanced sensors and communication systems. So the Chinese FC-31 fighter will be a worthy competitor for the Korean KF-21, and we will probably see the resolution of its story in 2021, 
the aircraft may be officially adopted, deployed, or at least showcased in its primary role on one of the aircraft carriers. Experts warned that as South Korea reinforces its military capabilities, new problems will emerge. The buildup could send unintended signals of aggression or weakness, inviting miscalculations or adventurism from countries including North Korea, China, and Russia. And that's all the time we have for today's video. Please give this video a like if you learned something new, and make sure you subscribe so you never miss another video from Front Cost. We'll see you next time.